For a long time now, various industries have been embracing digital twins, effectively a replica of the real world that is stored and viewed on a computer. Whilst the mining industry has talked about it a lot, it's generally been much slower than most to adopt these digital twins. However, over the last 12 months, Euclidean has been working with a number of mining customers to come up with a strategy for, to build and get the most out of their own digital twins. The digital mine has long been a catchphrase of the mining innovation space, but mining has its own unique challenges, such as how to capture the data in the first place, given the hazardous and difficult to access locations. And then, how does one display these models in a meaningful way, given that by their very nature, they're buried deep beneath the ground. As the maturity of LiDAR, drones, robotics and remote operations has improved, these challenges have largely been overcome. And now the mining sector is finally able to adopt digital twinning. However, mining and METS companies quickly run into the same problems that other industries face, namely the sheer size and volume of the 3D data they have and how to bring it all together and make it available in one location for people to see. I want to introduce you to two examples of how the mining sector is already using Euclidean's technology in developing their digital twins. Firstly, from a geosciences perspective, a platform that allows government agencies to bring their data together to the public in a way never before seen. And secondly, how the mining operators themselves are exploring how to use their existing 3D survey data to make decisions across many parts of the business. The first case study is the WH Bryan Mining and Geology Resource Centre, which is part of the Sustainable Minerals Institute at the University of Queensland in Brisbane. They're working on a huge project to catalogue the entire collection of geological data in the Northwest Mineral Province New Discovery Program. Funded by the Queensland Government's Department of Natural Resources, Mines and Energy, along with the Geological Survey of Queensland, they're bringing together data collected over a period of more than 100 years for the first time into one platform. This will allow technical experts and the public alike to visualise the entire data collect catalogue in a way never experienced before, with the hope that it will uncover new knowledge that leads to increased minerals exploration and ultimately significant economic activity in these remote areas. This information is usually published in an atlas, which comprises a printed report and the corresponding data which is compiled and compressed into a single download that is typically many gigabytes in size. Once downloaded, a user needs to decompress and navigate thousands of individual files, all of different types, various naming conventions, formats, and needing different specialist software to load and view. Even when you've worked out how to view and download the, the models in the right software, generally the files are so large that you can't view the entire Atlas region in one go, and you'll need to wait while smaller sections are loaded one at a time. Euclidean's UD Stream software is based on 10 years of development out of the surveying and geospatial industry. And yet, the Sustainable Minerals Institute has shown us how this technology can be translated into the mining sector to solve your own unique problems. UD Stream allows unlimited size 3D spatial data to be positioned correctly in a world space and easily viewed by any number of simultaneous viewers from a simple browser. This solves many problems in one go because now users don't need to download large data sets, they don't need to wait long times to load them, they don't need specialised software, and probably most remarkably, they can view massive areas. In fact, you could view every geological and mineral data set ever produced for the entire planet if you wished. To give you an idea of how large this data set is that we're showing you, the Northwest region covers more than 375,000 square kilometres and it provides a gross value out of almost $7 billion a year annually to the economy. All of this data is being made available publicly via Euclidean's UD Stream, so you too can take a look. But beware, as one panellist in a recent webinar that Rick presented said, you could spend all day in there. Visit our virtual booth or contact us directly to get the link to this data so you can have a play. The second case study is the digital mine which is a common use case we're seeing from the mining companies themselves, who are at various stages towards developing their own digital twins. Innovative mining companies are moving from traditional mapping and survey methods to 3D point cloud LiDAR and photogrammetry data capture, delivering previously unimaginable value for their operations. Of course, by bringing all this data together in one place, 
they are also creating huge data sets that can be many petabytes in size. This volume of data needs a new way to help manage, visualize and provide access to this knowledge and that's where Euclidean's UD Stream is playing a part. IGO Limited is a leading ASX listed exploration and mining company that has a published strategy of how they are exploring ways to incorporate 3D laser scanning and photogrammetry at their Nova Nickel Copper Cobalt Underground operation. IGO have been doing some excellent work refining a workflow where they use point cloud from LiDAR scanners to help speed up the face mapping process. But also they have other uses for this point cloud data including geotechnical analysis, stockpile volumetric calculations, engineering applications, and worksite inspections, job setups, and I'm sure they're continuing to find more applications. Remember, this is data they've already captured and they already own, and any new uses they find cost them nothing extra. They're finding ways to give other employees and experts from across the business access to this information. IGO reached out to Euclidean to help with the visualization and sharing of this data. And as others have found, this data simply gets too large to expect users to individually download, extract, find the relevant data, and then load into the correct software package on their high-spec computers. This data set that we're showing you now, of just one underground mine level at IGO, is more than one billion points. With UD Stream, we were able to quickly set up the model so it can be viewed in a browser, and IGO were kind enough to let us host it on our own website so you can take a look for yourself. And we've got many similar stories that we could tell from most of the Tier 1 miners. I hope I've been able to give you an insight into how the mining industry is using Euclidean's UD Stream platform to bring digital twins to the mining workplace. Our customers generally have one thing in common. They have lots of disparate, segregated data that is captured, used for one purpose and one purpose alone, and then usually kept in a drawer out of the reach of everyone else. Imagine the value that's locked up in all this data. If only it could be brought together and made available to others. It's difficult to explain exactly the niche solution that we provide, but if there's one thing I want you to take away from this presentation is that you think of Euclidean when you have large 3D data sets that you're having difficulty loading, viewing or managing, and that's where we can help. Euclidean truly is a world leader in massive 3D visualization and I hope this has given you ideas of how we might be able to help you. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you'd like to know more. Thank you.